Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Noise Reduction Node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and uh, the Noise Reduction Node. This is the DaVinci Resolve version available within Fusion and it is studio only. And also, I'm just going to caveat uh, with YouTube compression. This is going to be extremely hard to see some of these changes in here, but I'm still going to go over the node because uh, this is a very good note. So we're going to go ahead and add a noise reduction node. So I'm going to hit shift space, noise reduction. And I'm going to add it. And I also want to say this node is pretty much the only noise reduction node that I use in the edit tab, in the color tab, and in within Fusion, because it's pretty amazing. Because Fusion does have their uh, remove noise node right here. And I'm gonna add that in. We went over this and uh, it's okay, but it's not that great. So anytime I do anything within Fusion, I always use the, the DaVinci Resolve version of noise reduction and not the uh, Fusion version of remove noise. So let's go ahead and delete that and uh, jump back into our breakdown here. So the noise reduction node, what it does is it reduces noise. So let's go ahead and zoom in so we can uh, see kind of what's going on here. And like I said, this is going to be hard to see within uh, YouTube with the uh, compression. So I'll try as hard as I can for you to see these differences. Now up top, and this is actually the general workflow of using noise reduction. You pretty much want to start with temporal noise reduction first. And if that fixes your noise, you're good to go. If not, then you want to move on to spatial noise reduction. So under the temporal noise reduction, we have frames either side. And what this is doing is allowing you to pick how many frames in front of and behind the uh, current frame that it's going to analyze to uh, reduce noise. By default, it's set to three, but uh, you can change it to zero if you want. <laughs> I don't know why. Or one, two, four, and five. So however many you want. Just know the higher you go, the more... Uh, taxing is going to be on your computer. Next up, we have motion estimation type. And what this motion estimation type is going to do is going to estimate the motion within your footage to exclude it from that temporal noise reduction. So it's not messing with the actual motion of things within your footage. So by default, it's set on faster, which would do a pretty good job of detecting that motion. And uh, it's fairly fast on your computer. We have better, which will do a much better job of detection, the motion within your footage, but it is more taxing on your computer. And then we have none. So if you want to uh, disregard any motion within your uh, footage and make sure you apply temporal noise reduction to everything, even within stuff that is moving, i.e. like a, if you have motion blur and all that stuff, it's just ignoring everything, you want to set that to none. We're gonna leave it on better for now. In our motion range right here, we have a small, medium, and large. By default, it's set to small. And what this means is it's assuming uh, you have slow moving objects with little or no motion blur. And large assumes you have fast moving objects with a lot of motion blur. And then medium is somewhere in the middle. So you just wanna kinda of bounce back and forth to see what's appropriate for your footage and uh, sometimes larger works better than medium. Sometimes small works better than medium. So you just have to play it and see what works best. But we're going to leave this on small. And once you have your temporal noise reduction set, now you want to jump down to your thresholds. And we have threshold. And what threshold is doing is it's uh, just determining which characteristics get more or less noise reduction within your image. And by default, your Luma and your Chroma are gang together or compiled. If you want to uncheck this, you can uncheck it and uh, adjust your Luma independently of your Chroma. And if you check it, they're both being uh, adjusted at the same time. Your motion button right here is just determining the separation point of moving objects and uh, objects that aren't moving. So at 50%, it's a pretty good judge of what is moving in your uh, footage as opposed to what is staying stagnant like background stuff but as we move it up 
we're pretty much saying 100% of everything in there is moving. So analyze that accordingly or nothing is moving if we bring it all the way down to zero. So analyze it according to that. And under blend with a uh, blend of zero, that means we're uh, seeing 100% of our noise reduced image. And if we blend to 100%, that means 100% of our original image is blended back in. So you can kind of bounce back and forth and see what your noise reduction is doing. So if your temporal noise reduction doesn't work, we want to move on to spatial noise reduction. And what your spatial noise reduction is going to do, it's going to smooth out higher frequency noise within the image. So under our modes, we have a faster, better, enhanced. And now we have AI ultra noise reduction, which will hit at the very end of this breakdown. But by default, it's set to faster, which is pretty lightweight on your computer. And it does a decent job of analyzing. And I'm going to go ahead and crank our threshold up right now so we can kind of see these differences. And we're going to concentrate in her hair right here. So if I turn it off and turn it on, you can see what's happening to her hair. It's uh, losing a lot of detail under the faster. But if I switch it to better, it's going to bring back a lot of those uh, details. Now, just know if you have older versions of this and we switch it to better, down here, you may lose the ability to uncheck your uh, gang, luma, and chroma, and it'll be automatically combined. Whereas under faster, you'll still be able to uncheck it as well as enhanced. But with the newer nodes, even under better, we can still uncheck our uh, gang, luma, and chroma and adjust them independently. So we can see better is doing a better job of... Uh, bringing back our detail while maintaining our noise reduction. And if we go into enhanced, enhanced does an even better job at uh, maintaining our detail and applying noise reduction. So we can cut it on and off and you can see there's very little change to the detail within our image. Under your radius, this just uh, determines the radius of your uh, spatial noise reduction while it's analyzing. So we have small, medium, and large. Small is going to uh, be less taxing on your computer, where large is going to be very taxing on your computer, but will do a better job of analyzing the overall image to reduce noise. And under our spatial threshold, again, just as in temporal threshold, this is just determining the threshold of where our noise is being uh, reduced. So zero means nothing. 100 means 100% 100 of the image and the movement within the image is being uh, spatially noise reduced. And then we have our gang luma and chroma, so we can check that and uh, independently adjust our luma and chroma thresholds. And our blend is the same. At zero, we're seeing 100% uh, of our uh, noise reduced image. And at 100, we're seeing 100% 100 of our original footage. So you can bounce back and forth to see how your noise reduction is working. Now the new AI ultra noise reduction node is pretty nice. So let me go ahead and fit. So as soon as I hit analyze, it's just going to randomly pick a place where it thinks it's a pretty flat area of the image. So I'm going to select analyze and you can see it just popped up with a little uh, patch right here. And this is what this show patch is. So if I check and uncheck this, it's going to show or not show your patch. And it'll pop back up. There we go. <laughs> it's a little glitchy with the infusion, but it still works well. Now on your patch, you can uh, move this around, resize it. So if you grab the edges, you can resize it. Then you can select the middle and you can move it around to let it know where you want to analyze. So if I want to analyze this background a little bit and some of our shirt, I'll just analyze that. And once I move it, you can see over here, our Luma and Chroma changed because it's automatically reanalyzing as soon as we move that. So if I wanted to move that to our face, you can see it just changed our noise reduction levels. So that is the uh, noise reduction node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.